Okay, this is a quick vid for uh, Thetis 2.10.3. Uh, You'll see this as soon as you've installed it and you run it up for the first time. It needs to upgrade the database, so we'll do that here now. And then when it's done that, um, we will see the first new thing in Thetis. Um, after a database reset, so it's a one time only for this this sort of run, um, you will see the release notes for this version of Thetis. And unfortunately we got a big warning at the beginning. A CW warning, so if you're using different RX and TX antenna ports, um, it has been noticed and reported on this GitHub thread, which you can go and have a read of, that there is output power, full output power, on briefly on the RX port, even though you've got a transmit port which is set differently to the RX, and the RX is set as a receive only, there's still output power on there. And this has been a problem in Thetis. I went back to 2019 before I even owned an Anan, and it's there as well. So it's a long standing issue and the whole development uh, group knows about it and there's lots of discussions about how to go and uh, resolve it so uh, um, plans are afoot to uh, to look into it and sort it out. Anyway, let's carry on. Um, you can view these uh, notes at any time so we'll close them here but you're just going to set up um, into the general hardware select tab and it's there, I've just chucked it there for now, release notes. Um, so we go down and we can see that we've got the port audio update um, which uses the release that was in uh, 2021, I'm not using the work in progress stuff so it's the official release. Um, we've got the skin server in here for changing the skins from within the software got a new finder item up here which I'll show you now in this video quickly as well um, CFC has had a quick update on the display we've got FM filters, AF filters for RX and TX mic phase reversal and a bunch of other stuff and some help from uh, CG, uh DH1KLM who, who realigned and coloured some of the uh, user controls and um, lots of help as well from um, Ernst with the uh, the skin server and just about everything that's been <laughs> worked on on this uh, release. Um, you can scale this window if you want as well. So um, we've got all the additions here and the fixes and the changes, and uh, you can have a read of all that. So uh, let's. Um, let's just make sure I've got the right audio settings here because I don't want my audio to disappear in the uh, in the recording so there we go um, right uh, so let's quickly look at the finder opens up a window remembers where it was uh, saved uh, positioned and sized and everything you can literally search for anything you want in here so VFO sync um, click on that one it highlights where it is and it just disappears because I mouse over it but uh, yeah um, if you want to look up anything that has mocks in it um, we can and uh, we can click on it so that has receipt on mocks if we show full details we'll see that it's actually the dupe item a duplex thing um, and if we hover over this there's the mocks that it found in the in the tooltip uh, so yes you can display more info so that's like the text name on the on the control this is the tooltip and then that's the actual control name um, you can have this highlight thing off and on as well um, but also if you were to type in like VAC1 enable VAC1 that's there VAC1 indicator don't know where that is um, that, that's that thing there some of the things are and if you can't see them when it looks like this thing here 
if you can't see them when it opens a window up for instance um, like this one up here what is it vac indicator you can see what it actually is and it's a label somewhere that might actually be hidden um, I decided to to show everything in here um, but obviously if you can't see it then uh, like if we search for transmit uh, profile there we go some of these things might be RX2 only as well which we wouldn't get to see but uh, yeah you get the idea so that's fully searchable and works across a whole bunch of um, a whole bunch of different forms so you can literally uh, find pretty much anything 125 will probably find one of these values in these controls instead if you change that to like 126 and then f search for 126 it wouldn't find it it builds this um, when the system starts and at the moment I, I don't ever rebuild it again so that's finder <coughs> excuse me bit of a froggy throat today tonight um, okay so we will uh, carry on so let's have a look at the skin server quickly so we go into general appearance skin servers and this list it got from github so these are the approved uh, skin servers um, and this list is maintained in the github repo so we can go on to the default ones and that will if we download this it will reset all the meters and there's an option here to add meters so if it's a meter skin type meter skin um, it will add it to the current skin that's in use which of course is here um, if we add let's add a uh, cross meter uh, yeah let's add those to that and then go to the skin server and these are the default ones of course if I went to Ernst's OE3 IDE did a refresh I can see all the ones that he's got uh, hosted and these are coming actually off his uh, server uh, directly so if I download um, these multimeters here hit download you can see that it changed it straight away over there Uh, like so and that's actually putting it into the skin folder of um, IK3VIG so if we quickly look at that uh, which we don't have to do that way we can actually click this button now um, IK3VIG has actually got a meters subfolder in it now so uh, they're stored against the skin when you have that uh, checkbox enabled add to current skin um, if that's off then it puts it in the original place which was the meters folder inside um, well we can go to it through here inside the meters folder here so like the default default ones if the skin doesn't have any of its own so that's the uh, skin server quick overview we can uh, change the skin totally let's go for something from Rob W1 AX um, we could try for the camouflage one and that's actually getting that uh, thumbnail from Rob uh, that's downloading it you can cancel it at any time it doesn't update the skin straight away because uh, I didn't like how that worked so you come into your uh, skins here and it will be in the list and there it is and you can see there were no skin no meters associated with this skin so it loaded the default ones in um, but you can obviously uh, you know use um, Ernst's if you want and if we had a uh, for instance appearance multimeters magic eye in there and we set this bigger this is essentially the green bit or the eye size and this is the bezel they're separate um, but if you go into skin server Ernst 
download the retro it will just change the uh, the eye skin and then we can go back to appearance uh, multimeters and we could change the eye size to make it look uh, uh, correct like so so yeah that's the skin uh, server okay let's get back to my default skin and I will download the um, uh, default uh, meters which are there so let's replace that and then of course I've got to um, resize that back but uh, we'll scrap that for now and that and that um, okay we have um, in DSP FM we have the low and the high uh, low cuts high cuts uh, AF filters for FM in DSP CFC this has been slightly improved uh, not massively improved <laughs> um, I got rid of the auto because I couldn't see the point in it um, you can set if that's 10 dB 20 30 40 um, and then this line here represents all this stuff here so if you were to sh add uh, if you're adding um, 16 dBs on there of course that was at zero but it only reaches zero when it's right uh, down there now so that's how that works if you've got only 10 dBs then I scale it to fit this so that you actually get to see it um, and you can never push it off the top so it's not a true representation of the levels here if you, if if this is 0 to 10 dB it just made it nicer to sort of visualize it rather than driving it off the top um, so that's that and, and the uh, the display is a bit different as well so I'll let you uh, check that out I may actually uh, remove this from here or implement a version in meters so we can have it up there as well um, but that'll be in the future um, okay port audio has been updated and I don't really want to go changing audio devices around here whilst I'm recording because um, I'm likely to break the audio in my uh, video recording software but suffice to say this is a, p a newer version of port audio as I mentioned at the beginning and um, you can with WS, uh, WAS uh, API you can use exclusive mode on the, on the port on the in and out parts of it as well and you can actually run some very very tight uh, timings with um, <coughs> excuse me with the um, with the different drivers here WS API as you can see I'm, I've been running this all this time and uh, we're at six six zero zero. I'm on ASO, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's all working fine. Um, so that's that. Um, let's have a quick look at uh, release notes just to see what else has been added. Yes, the noise pulse that we used to uh, get. Let me uh, quickly change into a dummy load. There used to be um, like a noise pulse that you used to see in the waterfall uh, when you were doing things, and it was it's related to the um, the uh, waterfall AGC, and so that is delayed. As you can see, though, if I have a very slow, let's change this to quite a uh, a small bin width so it will take longer to fill you can see that this spike um, of RF takes a while to actually move because it's it's um and to get rid of so we're actually seeing that in the in the spectral data there but because this um, the waterfall is delayed now based on how long that takes uh, you don't get to see it down here um, but you're seeing it up there there is an option in display general purge w wdsp buffers on a mox which is pretty 
forceful. <laughs> it literally gets rid of everything that's in WDSP and you'll notice a little yellow light up here that is telling me that there is literally no data from the uh, get pixel analyzer in WDSP so we're not seeing that crazy jump or anything at all but if you want a quicker response then um, and that happened because I didn't really give it time to uh, turn off it probably turned off as it was turning on but uh, yeah that's, uh, that's a bit bit improved anyway uh, that waterfall uh, spike stuff uh, okay what else skin server filters we looked at oh yes I, uh, IQ swap um, for uh, VAC output which is great for things like um, skimmers and uh, SDC skimmer and all that SD, uh, software defined connectors SDC from uh, URI uh, can make use of that and all works fine that's uh, quite handy having the release notes on here uh, okay um, Additional things are stored against um, TX profiles now. So we go into TX profile, highlight everything, and we are seeing things like uh, the RX side of the EQ, um, of course, the uh, FM filters, swap IQ, and a whole bunch of other stuff uh, there. Release notes shown, yeah, rear amp. Uh, audio amp so that option now works for a G2 and the 1k version and as I mentioned we've got this um, phase reverse for the mic um, it's not related to phase rotator it just Warren wanted to have it put in the phase rotator group box here but uh, we could move it just outside by there which is probably more appropriate but it's in there at the moment um, so that's that. Fixed a bunch of stuff. Um, I can have a read of that in your own sort of time. But uh, one of the big ones there was not able to engage pure signal after after using CW, um, especially when you move to a new band, and that seems to have been fixed now. And uh, Warren and uh, we spent quite a bit of time uh, getting to the bottom of that. CFC was broken last version. Uh, I accidentally broke it, but it's fixed now. Plus, it's been updated. Shutdown speed of the software is a bit slower because we're now tidying up properly um, the radio DSP, which we weren't doing before. Mon, uh, when using CWU, was broken. That's fixed, and hopefully, <laughs> not just should import when you upgrade. Port audio, yes, we've updated to a new framework. Um, URI's updated a few uh, controls around and about, that's uh, very helpful. <clears throat> so that's cool, that's gone in. This is a very late change that I made only about an hour ago. So I don't know what the implications of this will be, but we can, if there are any, we can certainly move to 2.10.3.1. <laughs> um, device drop downs, yeah, you probably noticed that on. Um, audio uh, these are way bigger now because uh, uh, we couldn't see anything before um, but uh, yeah they're bigger so that's that um, let's just see if I can change this audio I hope this doesn't break if this breaks then I'll re-record with a dub oh no it's still looking okay so yeah on some of these they're, they're massive um, so uh, yeah there we are and the system CPU uh, load has been a, a nightmare from the beginning um, but as you can see um, it is now extremely close to task manager when you've got system shown In fact, it uses this um, essentially this value um, from performance monitor uh, tools. The Thetis only is still not reporting uh, correctly, um, and I'm still investigating that. 
Um, like Thetis down here is about seven and a half percent. Yet it's showing one percent up here. And if I use something like Process Tracker, a uh, Process Hacker, and I look at this here, um, I see sort of five. Now we're looking at Thetis, five, five and a bit percent, which isn't quite the same as this, um, but is is more accurate. So there's still work to do, and I still haven't found the uh, the answer to it yet um, for that. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this uh, release, um, I think. Various fixes and bugs that d don't really get logged. But uh, hopefully uh, you can uh, uh, get it up and running and give it a, give it a try. Alright, cheers. Back to some coding, I guess. <laughs> I might put my feet up for a bit. Cheers then. Ta-ra.